Hello, Malik Carrington here, Family Budget Fisherman. Thank you for tuning in to this, another special episode. Forgive the ambiguity of me making the statement in the thumbnail and in the description below. If you are an experienced fisherman, you must have this. And the reason why I made it a bit ambigu uh, ambiguous is because I wanted to kind of bring, draw you in to a larger argument that I'm going to make that for this channel is kind of special. <laughs> so I would all, uh, just ask that you indulge me for just a few more moments and then let me know in the comments below what you think of the argument that I'm making. So let's get started. So here's the argument that I'm making. If you consider yourself to be an experienced fisherman, you must have a high-end rod and reel combo. And that is to say that the compilation of the rod and the reel should be north of $400 before taxes. And here's the reason why. When it comes to rods and reels, most of us have had some experience on the low end and we've enjoyed fishing and we've become pretty good fishermen as a result of it. And I'm referring to men and women, obviously. However, the technology that builds, for example, this rod here, this ugly stick, ugly stick elite, as it were, the technology that went into making this rod was about the best that pure fishing could do, given the price point. This is a $50 rod. This is a $50 reel. My point with you is the companies who made these different items here couldn't do a whole lot but present to me some of the basics so that I could get out there and actually fish. Now that said, the manufacturers who put together this combination right here, now this is a $500 combination right here. And this $500 combination feels lighter than the reel of this combination right here. Just be plain and honest with you. Yet, this rod is every bit as durable as this rod. It's a lot more sensitive. It's a lot, the technology that created this rod allows me to know the terrain that I'm fishing a lot better. I will know the difference between grass and rocks and sand and gravel a lot more than I would with that $100 combination. And that's because the manufacturers of this rod and this reel spent a lot of money and a lot of research and development to build this rod and sell it to me so that my efficiency went up by a factor unknown to me, but definitely good enough for them to say, been $500 to get these components. There are certain technologies that you're only going to be able to get from high-end rods and high-end reels that you're just never gonna get from the lower end to be able to know what the terrain is gonna be. And everyone's got their different style of what goes into the construction of their rod, whether they have high modulus graphite, meaning that they've mixed materials in the rod blank so that it is lighter and stronger than rods that are at a lower price point. And then the way the rods are wrapped, because as you might know, every rod is essentially a cone, an ice cream cone, a really, really narrow ice cream cone. That's what it is. And that rod has to be able, under stress, to bend without turning. And they develop, companies have developed different types of wrapping construction so that the rod bends without twisting and not breaking. And that can be afforded at the higher end. That's what makes these two rods here. These two rods here have the benefit of super high-end technology that came from a more expensive rod. These two rods here, this is a $370 rod, this is a $200 rod, and both of them benefited from technologies that came from a $720 rod. I think that rod line begins at $695. So let's just call it a $700 rod. And 
the technology passed down to this rod made this rod three hundred and seventy dollars and the technology passed down to this rod made this rod two hundred and twenty dollars then the reels on both of these rods the technology from these two rods came from a rod now these rods are two hundred and forty dollars each the technology that came that created these two rods came i mean reels rather came from reels that were more than twice its uh, price point as well and then they had the nerve to add technology to that reel that didn't that the 500 or 600 dollar reel just did not have and it created this 240 dollar reel but what it created was a rod and a reel that is so light in a, a drag system so sophisticated and a, an ability to cast they actually know how much further this reel can cast than say this reel can cast they know the difference in the reeling uh how the casting rather that makes a difference then to add more to that um you have baits that respond a certain way to the higher price point reel, uh, rods and reels, and I'll say combos. And that's because at the higher price point, the calibration of those combos can be dialed in specifically for certain types of baits. That's why on some rods, on some of these combos, you have um, some called a jerk bait rod or I was looking around here for one uh, you'll have a jerk bait rod you'll have a chatter bait rod you'll have a spinner bait rod you'll have a uh, lipless crankbait rod you have a square bill rod you have all of these rods and reels that have specific techniques they have very specific techniques that you can endeavor in your fishing that you just can't get from, unfortunately, from this. You just can't get it. You have to go, you, you really have to get dialed in. You gotta move up to something like this. You gotta spend the bucks to get this in order to get that technique specific kind of rod that helps you to improve your quality of fishing experience. And when I say equality, I'm talking about how efficient you are in casting and retrieving a particular bait uh, in terms of the physical wear and tear on you as a fisherman, uh, because you're doing this several hundred times a day. And depending on how fast you cast, if you're a reaction bait, a power fisherman primarily, you're going to do this a lot more than those of us who our power finesse or even finesse fishermen. But even a finesse fisherman is gonna do this about 400 times while out fishing. And this kind of repetition certainly doesn't bode well to your arms and so forth. So imagine when you have a lot of weight in your hand, what that does to your body. Another thing is the baits themselves. Every bait has its own signature. And as I mentioned before, you have these higher end rods and reels that are that have specific techniques but it's not just simply you know you throw this crankbait on here excuse me you just throw this crankbait on here what you're trying to get and what you do actually get is you 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 sense the bait's signature meaning how the bait moves through the water column whether it's deep whether it's shallow whether it's top water whether it's moving water, whether it's slack water, whether you can even tell the difference when the water is warm versus when it's cold on some of these rods. And then you get an opportunity to experience the difference in the way fish react to the bait and bite the bait with the higher end. These are types of experiences that with low end technology, you just don't get. Now, Having said that, the overall technology of our lower end rods and reels is a lot better than the mid-level and in some cases high-level 
20 years ago and 10 years ago when we were all still trying to get better, you know, but if you've been in it, been fishing for a long time and we like to brag that we have old equipment, I've got some equipment sitting off to my left, your right facing you, you almost 30 years old. And I guarantee you the fishing experience, while I have fond memories of what my experiences were with those rods and reels, due to the, the pressure on the water, the technology, the catching and releasing of the fish and the repeat catching of some of the fish in some bodies of water, the, that older technology is not up to uh, the task that a new, more expensive rod and reel combination is today. So you will increase your catch ratio overall because of these, uh, of this technological improvements that are made over what you fished in times past. And because you are an experienced fisherman, you know exactly what direction to go. Some of you are power fishermen and you're going to choose more of the power fishing type rods and techniques. And for those of you who are power finesse and then those of you who are finesse all together, you're going to, you're going to move into the areas where your strengths are and you're going to do a lot better with those kind of baits. I'll tell you this, for me personally, one of the reasons why I tend to have a lot of baits is because my style changed a lot over the years. My style changed and it changed faster because I have better technology that I'm fishing with and it changed faster than the wear and tear on the equipment that I purchased. So that is my argument that each one of you who considers yourself to be an experienced fisherman to set aside some extra dollars and purchase some equipment that is whose value is over $400. And my recommendation is to, if you have to make a choice, spend more money on the rod than you would on the reel, but overall spend as much as you possibly can. Remember this channel even started off by, by mentioning how we are able to purchase high end efficient equipment that fits within our budget. So you got to get out there make the deals and move slow. Um, and find the deals. I'm still suggesting that to you, but for those of you who are fishermen, who are experienced fishermen, I'm saying dispense with some of the persuasions to buy lower end equipment and pursue buying the higher end equipment. That does mean that you're going to buy less equipment over the course of a year or so. So you may buy six rods in a year. You may only buy two or three. But those two or three, I promise you, will provide for you an experience that's unparalleled when compared to experiences that you would have you had with lower end equipment. Please take that into consideration. I am willing to listen to any comments, questions, rebuttals or challenges in the comments section below. Please talk to me if you're if you're on Instagram. Same thing. Give it to me. Let me know in response, what you feel or how you can assess what my argument is here. All in all, we're all always, always, always going to do everything we can to never, ever break our family's budget to purchase anything that this channel recommends or endeavors or anything that you may consider on your own outside of this. But by the same token, within the law and good ethics, get out there and break your personal best. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.